Hi, it's Maureen again. We're going to look at another technique that's actually called a graded wash. So we've looked at wet on dry, wet on wet, and now we'll do a graded wash. And the reason for this is this really can help. Um, it's really useful for creating three-dimensional shape. So if I just really quickly draw some kind of tree, not really worried about how it's going to look. So just really lightly with your pencil. So there's my tree, if you can see that. So graded wash just means that instead of dipping into paint each time, we actually dip into water. So we stroke and reload into water. And this can be done wet on wet or wet on dry. So if I turn my board, going to go really low to the paper again, drag it across. Now instead of going into the paint, I'm actually going into the water, picking up a little bit of water and dragging across like that. Bring your brush off into the water, tilt your board and drag across. So what you've got now is it's going to go from dark to medium to light. And you can come back in while everything is shiny wet and just pull up some tree branches, as many as you would like. And there's your tree. So while it's still shiny wet, if you'd like, you can come in and introduce other colors. So we had a look at that before. Now I know we don't normally have blue trees, but we do today. So we can see how I'm starting to do that technique of charging. I've introduced another color, and while it's still shiny wet, I can tilt it. And remember, gravity is your friend, so really try and have some fun with gravity. Okay, now this is the cool part about watercolors. There's something called a happy accident. Some people call it cauliflower, some people call it a mistake. It's not a mistake. All that's happened here is I've introduced a second color or clean water before the first layer was still wet. And what's happened is that that first layer, the pigment, is being pushed aside and it creates this beautiful textured line all the way across. So this technique helps you create texture. It's really useful for creating things like clouds, which we can take a look at in another session. If it happens and you're really like, I don't want that, while it's still shiny wet, take a paper towel and just gently, gently dab it up. And all you're going to do is take away some of that pigment and soften the edges. But if you have a look, there's my tree. So dark, medium, light. So all of a sudden I've created a three-dimensional shape and I've got this really beautiful, cool looking tree. So have fun with that one.